and open the software. Here we go. I wanted to show one thing. Let me close this window. What I want to show is I was sent this from one of our members, Dolores, and she wanted to take away this moon from her uh, shape here. She just wanted to use this quilting shape right here without that moon. And you can see when I scroll in really close, it is connected right there. And when I select it, you can see it's connected. Now this is a uh, Jeff design, it's an embroidery design. So whenever you bring in an embroidery design, you'll notice over in your window that, um, let's see, oh my goodness. Someone's gonna order a second CM17. I love it so much too. I could use two and uh, one for sewing and one for embroidery. So on this one, because they're both connected, um, and if you look over here, it says raw. So sometimes to work with an embroidery design that's a raw design, you do have to come up here to convert and convert to curves. And of course it changes that design, okay? And the reason it does that is because it's wanting, you're wanting to edit it. So you're gonna make all your changes to it. But we don't really want to change everything in here. We really just wanna move, take away this moon and an easier way to do that is I'm going to undo it. And I always like to say there's never just one way to do things. There's always, you know, two and three different ways. And I'm, I don't always have the market on, you know, always the right way. But what I like to do with this type of thing is first I'm going to come up here to auto and make it manual. All right. That'll give me more tools that I can work with. And I can't use the edit nodes because it's it has to be um, converted to curves to let edit nodes use work. But I can edit stitches. So I want to select my piece. I want to make sure up here that I've touched auto and now it says manual and optimized. And I'm going to touch stitches, edit stitches. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see. You can see all these purple arrows. That's all the dots where your needle goes in. So your needle going here here to here and so forth. It'll make in those spots. So I could use my knife feature and I could cut it off here if I wanted to, or I could, let me get going in the right direction here with my mouse. I could select portions of this like this and then delete it. And now I'm getting down here really close. So I can come over here and delete these like that. And then I have some here. And so these ones, sometimes when I get to this point, I will just click on them and touch delete to bring these back in like that. I'm gonna leave some of those. I'm gonna take this away and that away. And then sometimes I'll get in here really close and see where these um, arrows, what they're doing, what pieces they have. There we go. So these three are together and this is part of the ones that are over here. There we go. So I can move this back on top and then I'm gonna bring these in here. And these are the little uh, kind of like locking stitches. They come, let me move it this way, move this down. There we go. Move that up there a little bit. There we go. And then I would test this out and stitch it, just this part here, just to see how this happens. I may have to come in here and adjust that, that might be too many of uh, those stitches on top of each other. They are the locking stitches for that piece, especially the ones on this left side. And let me go in here and I'll show you, go this way, in slow redraw, we'll go over here to slow redraw and we'll move ahead in this, there it is. So it starts over here. So that's where your first stitches are, those first arrows. And then it's going to end up on the other side here. So the only place I would worry about it would be when it gets up here to this part, when it starts up here, just to make sure, I'm gonna do a test sew, just to make sure this um, will um, lock itself in. If not, I have to go back in. I may have to add a stitch with that. And when you do that, when it's like this, you. You get different commands of things you can do. 
So I just don't want this to be a big mess, but I also want it to be locked in. So when you right click, you can insert one or insert at end. So you need to be not mindful of what's going on right up there. Now, if I wanted to do it with the um, knife tool, what I would do is I'd come in here. Now, if you have the junior program, you don't have knife. So you would have to use the edit stitches. So this would be an option for anyone who has the junior program. And I do recommend anyone who has junior and you bought a CM17, ask your dealer about the upgrade to full and get upgraded to the full program. I think there's so much more you can do. I just love the full program. So here I'm going to do um, the out, digitize outline shape, and then I'm gonna come in here really close, and I'm gonna draw my line across. I think I'm just gonna do it up here like that. I think that might work. And end shape, I'm gonna go to select, and then I'm gonna select my orange section. I'm gonna right click, and I'll see knife. Now knife won't show if you haven't if you haven't put the right things in there. If you don't have the line and you don't you have to have your line coming over a part that you're going to cut. And then I'm going to click knife and there it took all this part away. So now I can just select this and delete and then I can come in here and what it's done is it's combined this little extra piece with uh, the rest of it. So let's see what that is when I do edit stitches. I have these pieces out here. So this, again, I think I would, let me look where this one's going. Yeah, see, these are over here. That's good, okay. So I could take these out, because they were going off somewhere else and we don't need them. And again, I would be mindful of what's happening up here. I may move this one up. I may add a, um, another stitch at the end like that and put it here. So you can add in, see how I added that in? I can just make my own stitches and put them in. Let's do a backspace to get them out. If I wanna make sure, let's go back to that one. Let's get it again, here we go. Whoops, this, this is the one I want. If I wanna add some stitches at the end here, I can do uh, insert at end and I could put, like three stitches close together like this, making a little uh, knot up there. And then, let's see, I wanna do, and there, there we go. How'd I get, there it is, okay. So you just have to check that. That might be too much compared to what's on your other corners. And you can always look, I always look to see what's happening over here. So this one here, let's look at the stitches here because they're just they just come up and stop and these are double stitches it goes back and forth back and forth and before it goes this way so these are just the single stitches but up here where it ends you have to make sure you're keeping it it locked okay so just take a take a look at where they're ending up wherever we took that moon off i think we took it off over here wherever it ends up just be careful about that part of it but that's how you would adjust it you're in control so you can do all of that one thing I want to show you also is when you're working with um, some an embroidery design, I have Jeff designs in here, but any embroidery designs. And, um, you know, when you do convert to curves, you don't have to convert to curves the whole thing. If there's a portion of it that you want to change. So this leaf here, I don't really, maybe I don't like the shape of this leaf. Okay. I like these shapes. I don't really like this one. I could select that. It has an inner part and I'm gonna hit shift and get the, the other part. I think I got some of the white. So if I do it this way, select the green. Let me make sure I don't have any of the white. Oh, it's behind, maybe it's behind there. That's why it's there. And then I'm gonna get the little, I want the little part in the center and the green part. So that part, I'm gonna to convert to curves. I can either right click and I get convert to curves. I can come up here to the top and do convert to curves, or I can convert to curves over here. So let's convert it to curves. And I'm gonna pull it over here for just a moment. And it changed the type of stitch that's in there. And that's fine. But what I can do now is I can reshape those nodes and create the shape that I want. 
So maybe I want this to be more out here and these to come in a little bit so I can select them and bring them in and bring these in. Maybe this one needs to go out. So I can adjust my leaf any way I like. And that's what Convert to Curves is doing. It's giving you that option to change your shape of it. It's giving you the option to do the editing. So it does change what's in there. And once that happens, you are in control of everything. And sometimes, you know, that's the way you want to be. You want to be in control. Let's see if we can make this a more rounded type one. So see, when you touch some of these, you have your arrow. So you can bring the arrows back in. Let's pop this one out. Some I just delete, like this one I might not want. There we go. I might not want that one because I'm trying to make it smoother. There we go. Let's take this one out and maybe this one. There we go. These might, I want, might want those to come in a little bit. Maybe I only need one of these pointy ones at the top like that. And I could, there we go. Now I'm getting the shape I want. These are shaping arrows, so I can bring them in and make them shorter. Ooh, I like that leaf now. This part down here, I might want to change and take this one out. One more. I'm going to take a look at my comments. Hopefully, hopefully everybody's still out there. I hope I haven't lost everyone. I think I still have you. Just give me a little thumbs up if you're still out there so I know that we haven't lost everybody. All right. So once you do that, you can bring your design back in and place it underneath there. I would want to bring this back in too and place it underneath there. And I have that new shape. Now, I might not like the way these stitches are. So I could come over here and I might want to do a satin fill. And when I do a satin fill, I may want to, let me take these middle ones out. I may want to use my uh, stitch flow tool. So I can do divide. That's where I'm going to make a line down the center. And then I can do direction and make these go in this direction like that. I like that. I can take this piece back and lay it on top. And now I have a new leaf. Okay. So sometimes it's better to look at your design and only change the parts you really want to. You know, some of these flowers here, maybe, you know, I'm not sure I, I like them like that. I can change them. Maybe the center, I would like the center to be a different uh, pattern. And I could come into my step fills and maybe find something that I like better, like this circle thing here. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. So maybe I like that better. So that's how you make those changes. And I know it, it's very scary when you convert to curves and it makes the design totally different. And you're like, oh, I didn't really want that. Well, only pick the parts you want to change and then change those parts and, and do a little at a time. The other thing to do when you're working, and this is really important. I had a couple people uh, that I was doing designs with or were posting things. As you go along, okay, so let me do it this way. I'm going to bring in... I'll bring in this butterfly. All right, so I have this butterfly. So what I'm gonna do right away is I'm going to do um, up here to file, save as. And I'm gonna save it. I would probably, I'm on my desktop. I would make a new folder and maybe I would put um, butterfly sample. All right, so that's the name of my folder. And um, that's where I'm gonna put that butterfly. And I can save it here. Maybe this is one. And I'm going to do save. And I'm going to make some changes. And I'm just going to do a simple change right now. I'm going to take this and I don't know. Let's make it um, instead of red. I'm just going to make it green. And let's say I made some digitizing changes to it. Um, I might have taken this piece here. It is the green part and it has some red in it. I may want to do uh, break apart and then convert fill to center line or outline to object. And as I work through it, I may want to go up here and instead of doing save again here, 
I would do file, save as, and save it as like 1A. Because as I work along, when I get out to change number D, maybe I've gone five changes out, I'm like, what was that change I did at three? And then I could go back to those changes. So that, and then when I get done, I will delete my other ones. But I, sometimes I, I work that way because I'm making lots of changes and I don't have, sometimes you make, maybe sometimes you make five changes and you're like, oh, I really like the first one, but you've done so many things you can't remember and you, you can't um, undo enough to get there. Okay. All right. So I'll talk about that in a minute, Arturo, in just a minute. So let me think what else. And I have to say, there is someone who sent me a design and I, I can't find it. And I wish they would send it again. It was a sun design and it had, uh, they wanted to remove the center of it and it had yellow and white in it. If you sent me that design, could you send it to me again? I don't know. I've, I've removed it. Uh, I've removed it. Oh, okay. Um, I, somehow I, I saved it, I think, but I'm not sure where I saved it. So if you're the one who sent it to me, please resend it. All right. So let me go back. Is there anything anyone wants to see really quick here? If you put your comments in, I can comment back. Let me think. There was one other thing I was going to mention. Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, when you are working with uh, embroidery files, uh, sometimes you are kind of limited until you do a few things. So even when I right click on here, I don't get break apart or ungroup. So it's this is all one color. I would need to convert to curves this entire piece. And let's see what happened. There it goes. And it's going to make this weird thing, which I'm not sure I like. I can right click again and maybe convert fill the center line would work or break apart. And that's not quite nice. But another option, let's undo this, is if you like parts of this, um, you can, I don't, you can come in here with your digitize outline shape and you can cut off a piece and select this, select your design right click knife and then let's see if i can click yeah see that one comes off so i could work with just one piece of this if i wanted to so there are options you just have to think about your tools and be a little bit selective about what you're doing and then you have to remember when you remove things like that some you've compromised some of your design so you do need to do a stitch out to make sure that you have uh some ending stitches in there, some locking stitches, so that you don't have something unravel. Some things are, when you take them off, are complete, and um, other things are not. This is this stitch is one onto the other, so there are parts you're going to have to work with. But remember, there's not just one way to do it. If you don't see the tool you want, it's probably because you don't have the right things on the screen at the time. All right. Uh... Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to the camera. Let me put this back in the center. Here we go. There we are. All right, so I think that's everything for today. It's just a little light lesson today. I have a few more things coming up. Of course, this month I still have our uh, quilt block of the month. Um, I have, I think on next Wednesday, I'm doing um, Easy Does It Quilting, another series in that, which we've been doing uh, all along. And I have some other fun things. I think we're going to be working with the decorative stitches within our software. So that's coming up later in the month. I hope you join us for that. I'm going to check one last time to see if we have any comments out there. It looks like everybody's pretty quiet. Uh, thank you, Brenda. All right, everyone, I'm going to let you go. And I know it's a short one. I'm usually very long winded. Thank you for joining me today in uh, Stitches Quilt. Uh, Stitches Quilt and Craft Shop in Olympia, Washington. I'll be home next week and well, yeah, tomorrow will be a, a 
a video of me a recording and then i'll be home next week in the studio or maybe at the office doing my live so depending on where i end up i have a couple things to do so bye for now everyone thanks for joining me remember to post your things either to this genome sewing machine page or you can even post them over the at the genome artistic digitizer page if you haven't joined over there join over there so you can uh, get extra extra answers to your questions. I'm always over there answering. We have a great crew of people that will answer your questions as well. All right, everyone. Bye for now. Have a great day.